everyone, Anita here and welcome to another video. Today we are taking a look at the Arteza gouache paint. I have been sent a whole box of art supplies to review. Uh, I've mentioned that in my previous video, the fine liners review. So I have a bunch of them to still review and today we're doing the gouache um, because I have to say I've been very inspired recently to try gouache again. I'm gonna tell, talk to you about my gouache journey <laughs> in a little bit. But for now, I am unpacking the box. It is just a normal cardboard box um, and it houses 24 tubes uh, of gouache and they are 12 milliliters or 0.4 US fluid ounces i am not american <laughs> so i hope i hope that's correct uh there are 12 milliliter tubes so they are just yeah i don't they're just you know a tryout tubes for me uh, i feel like because they are um arteza is um presenting the set as a kind of a tryout set like a starter set and i think this is a very a very good description for it um as, as normal as with the previous product as with the fine liners I am really impressed with how this set actually looks like for its price uh, the packaging is really minimalistic and very elegant in my opinion I really really like it um, I've checked the Arteza website and this set uh, they sell it for $20 like $19.98 something like that for the European customers you can get it at the UK Amazon and it costs, I believe, 20 pounds, so it's kind of around 25 euro, something like that. So it's really not that expensive as, you know, gouache and any kind of good paint considered. Uh, I would consider this more of a student grade uh, gouache. Uh, as you can see here in the background, I'm swatching it. I've prepared just a simple swatching chart. Um, I have one... I, the way I swatch my gouache usually is I have I have to have a white background and a black background to see how the gouache covers, you know, different colored surfaces uh, because that's important for me. So that's why I've covered one side of the... Um, of that chart with black gouache, <laughs> but black acrylic gouache so it doesn't pick up. Um, when I paint over it and one thing that I was really interested uh, in this set is because when you have that little label at the top of the tube uh, it says you know it, it, there is a name written on it there's I believe what's light fastness there are little you know light, light fastness crosses <laughs> there's a number of course there are pigments and then there is a transparency which had me baffled at first because you know, this is supposed to be gouache. If you don't know what gouache is, uh, it's often called a opaque watercolor. It's basically an opaque uh, water-based paint. Uh, so it's opaque. It's not supposed to be transparent. Now, once I finish this uh, swatching chart, and you take a closer, we will take a closer look at it. I believe that what the transparency, because it's not actually written on the website, but I believe it's um, the way this paint, this gouache is, uh, you know, diluted with water. That's how it dilutes into a more transparent or more opaque, you know, version of it. Because you can use uh, gouache as, as you would watercolor. Now, that's, you know, that's up to you. <laughs> that's up to just experimenting so I think that's what the transparency um, you know is about I am not sure but as I took a closer look all of the transparent or the half transparent let's put it this way the half transparent colors once I've added water to them they were just very and I've uh, I kept adding very tiny bit of water what I do actually when I add water is I just dip my paintbrush a tip of my paintbrush literally a millimeter into water and then I just you know swipe it across paper so as you can see for example the peach red which is the only transparent color in the set that color is almost completely uh, it doesn't cover anything even though I've added very little water uh, I mean the diluted version of it 
and so the other colors like the ultramarine blue you don't see it very well from here but it also doesn't cover the black at all in its diluted version so i think that it fits that's my theory if you guys have a different theory please let me know in the comments below um that's it's not written in the, on the arteza website so it's you know it's it's up for grabs the theory <laughs> Um, so the colors themselves are very vibrant. I'm actually um, I've tried several what you would call student like a lower grade gouache sets um, And I've also tried um, I've actually have that's a, that's kind of like a you know a trivia a bit of trivia I own probably more gouache than I own watercolor. That's because gouache is my favorite paint and also my most hated paint <laughs> in the in the world. I am, yeah, we have a very, you know, love-hate relationship. And uh, once we get to the painting, uh, the little sketches I will be doing, the little, you know, experiments, um, I will tell you more about it. But, uh, so I've tried both like very student grade and more artist grade water uh, gouache. And I would say this is not the most, the cheapest gouache you can find. I would call it somewhere in the middle. Uh, seriously, for the price, I think it's very affordable starter gouache to try to experiment with and to play with. Um, the only big disappointment that I've had uh, was this color here, which is called Noir, which is supposed to be black. And yeah, it, it is black, but it's not the pure velvety black that the gouache presents that the gouache brings to, to the painting world. If you guys are not familiar with black gouache, I highly recommend you just try it. You can get lost in that color. When black gouache dries, you, you just, it's like the abyss. You just, you have a feeling that if you look into it, you're gonna just fall over through the paper and into this darkness. <laughs> I am not exaggerating. I am in love with black gouache. It's just the most velvety and beautiful color. So if a gouache set does not have a good black, I mean, it is close. It's like a very, very dark gray, almost black, but it's not the velvety black. So that was a bit of a disappointment. Uh, so here we are having a closer look at all the colors. Uh, now this crimson red here is a little bit of a dis like it's defeating my theory about <laughs> the transparency because it's supposed to be an opaque color. But um, as you can see, they are covering really nicely. Um, they're covering the black really nicely. Uh, there are no streaks on the white, which sometimes happens to me when the colors are less pigmented or the like this very cheap gouaches. They will have streaks when you layer them when you put them on white. Or on black. Here the colors are really nicely opaque. Uh, I'm very pleased with that. Um, besides that, it's just you know it's just your basic gouache. Here you can have a closer look at the noir. It's not really that visible, but if you look at the acrylic gouache that I'm using uh, on all the other swatches, you sl can slightly see the difference. Um, yeah, it's mm, it's not a deal breaker for me. Because, but you know, I know what the black gouache is supposed to be. <laughs> okay, so here I am just, I've decided to make a little painting. And we're going to discuss my love-hate relationship with gouache. Uh, because, mm, let's put it this way. The very first time when I started, like when I came back to painting and I've decided to become an illustrator, we all know this story. Um, it was in 2013. And I started looking around, just getting inspired and finding new artists to follow. Every single artist I followed uh, and I loved used gouache. I'm, I absolutely loved the way gouache looks. I loved the way it just, oh, it's just the most beautiful paint ever. Now the problem is that I can't seem to just find a way to paint with it. I mean, don't get me wrong, if I really, you know, I, I've painted here, like, right? I'm painting mushrooms here, just some whimsical mushrooms. I picked a few colors that I wanted to paint with. Um, and I'm just, you know, what I'm doing actually is I'm just dabbing around. <laughs> I'm not really overthinking it, just, just, you know, 
trying to paint something. I'm doing this thing, you know, guys, you guys know. I'm trying to stop overthinking things and just let myself experiment and let myself get a little bit more freedom in painting. Now, the problem with gouache is that it just... <laughs> It just doesn't seem to fit in my style of painting. Um, I have a specific... I don't paint with watercolor like a reg normal, let's say, watercolor artist would. I have an illustration and I want to add color to it. I have a certain vision and watercolor just does it for me. I don't really adjust myself to the watercolor. Uh, I always made watercolor work for me. And in this case, I have a feeling that the gouache just does not want to adjust. The gouache just does what gouache does, and I do whatever I do, and we clash in the middle, and we can't find the middle ground when we kind of both cooperate. And yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> I just can't seem to find a way to use gouache, you know, the way that I would feel comfortable with it. Because I've done gouache illustrations in the past. Um, I'm painting with gouache right now and I really like what came out of it. I'm going for a bit more... Um, not exactly col color blocking, but I didn't want to use gouache as I would... Um, as watercolor. I was trying to use it more as a just opaque medium, so as it's meant to be used. More like an acrylic paint, I suppose. Um, and so and I'm constantly, you know, I'm painting and it's coming out, but I'm not feeling really comfortable. I'm not feeling that joy. I'm not feeling that, you know, <sighs> that joy of painting. <laughs> if that's, that's, you know, you can put it that way. It's just, <laughs> I really love the way gouache works. I really love the way gouache digitizes. It's just scanning gouache is pure pleasure. Um, I just can't seem to find a way to paint with it so that I'm really satisfied. And now, of course, and that's purely just lack of practice, I realize that. If I practice more with it, I would definitely get a way to paint something, you know, paint the way I wanted to paint, just to learn how the paint works and stuff. But the thing is, I feel like I, do, I don't want to invest that time. Um, perhaps I will one day. And th this is the thing, you know, when I was, uh, I was, I felt really excited about painting with gouache uh, when I started doing this review. Uh, I felt really inspired by all the artists trying out gouache. Now gouache is, um, so <laughs> I've been having this love affair with gouache for a couple of years now. And every single time I, I get th um, towards this excitement, and then I paint with it and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. I don't have the patience. I wait again a couple of months. Um, and, you know, it, it's... I used to be a... I used to paint a lot with acrylics. I used to love acrylics. Um, and I, so I don't really understand why I'm having so, so many problems painting with gouache well i do know because the one thing when you you have to know when you paint with gouache uh just your regular gouache uh, is that you can't really layer um the way you would with watercolor now when you notice my watercolor style i do a lot of glazing i do a lot of continuous watercolor thin watercolor layers one up over the other to get that intensity of color to get the depth and and so on and so forth here I have to, you know, have all the colors pre-mixed on the palette. I have to make decisions where to put the colors. I have to, you know, there's, you can't really put another layer. I mean, you can, but it is going to disrupt the layer underneath. And that is a really big problem for me because I like the freedom of just slapping paint around, not thinking about leaving space or oh, this, I can't layer this over this color. And just perhaps, you know, perhaps just watercolor is coming to me more naturally. I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you ever tried painting with gouache? And if you did, how, how did it actually go for you? Do you paint it, do you use it more as acrylics or as uh, more as watercolor? 
I did both and I think I like it I like to use it more as an acrylic rather than watercolor because the um, pigment in gouache it's much bigger it's less fine than watercolor so it becomes much more grainy if you add too much water to it which I, as you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of so yeah <laughs> So my mushrooms are coming along nicely. I'm actually really happy with this, this little collections of whimsical mushrooms. I mean, it's been fun just, you know, painting something different. And um, I'm really, really pleased with how the gouache was uh, performing. Like I've said, there was really nothing that I could complain about. It was just your regular gouache, okay? It was not... Sometimes I felt like it was a little bit too... Um, to watery certain colors especially the half transparent ones uh, once I've added just even a little bit of water they would dilute way too much but it wasn't a deal breaker for me uh, it just meant that I had to add another layer on top of that and that kind of fixed it of course if you add if you make a pastel color with white you know that white is going to bulk up the paint and you're gonna have a perfectly opaque layer <laughs> so it's just a matter of you know knowing your paints and getting used to it um, I can I can really say that I am happy with this as a beginner's paint absolutely definitely a good choice of uh, of you know just your gouache is it the best I don't know um, I mean it really strongly reminds me of the um, Talons, the art creation brand that I've picked up. Uh, however, it's uh, um, there. That's a Dutch brand. <laughs> There's like a Dutch student brand. However, I feel like it's a step up from that. It's the same way as I've had a very basic watercolor set, and then I've picked up another student grade, but it was like a higher student grade, the Van Gogh brand. That's the similar feeling like I have right now. But it's still nowhere near the acrylic gouache that I have, which is, yeah, it's kind of the other, completely different medium too. Um, even though it's a gouache. But we're almost at the end of my little mushrooms. <laughs> um, I'm actually, I'm, like I said, I'm really actually happy with how they came out. I'm planning to scan them and do something with them, but I haven't decided yet what I want to do with them. So for now, they'll probably stay in my folder. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. Uh, if you would like to try um, the Arteza gouache, in the description below there is a 10% um, um, I want to say courting <laughs> discount code um, for the American store. It doesn't unfortunately work for any other parts of the world, only for the American store. But still, 10% off, it's a pretty good deal. <laughs> And um, yeah, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button and definitely leave me a comment about your experiences with gouache because I'm really curious. Thank you so, so very much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye!